Okay, a little bit of a, let's take a political journey. Um, my political journey, well, that's not true. Listen, uh, in, in 1984, I was, down, I was living on the Lower East Side of New York, uh, Alphabet City, well, upper side of, uh, upper, upper end of Alphabet City, 14th Street between avenues uh, A and B. Doesn't matter. Uh, in that area, there's a lot of projects and stuff like that down in that, down the Avenue D and stuff like that. There's a lot of projects. Projects are just tall buildings with a lot of people in it. And so we were organizing uh, for Jesse Jackson to get him on a ballot. Okay, that's what you have to do in New York first to get him on the ballot, blah, 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 blah. So I uh, was organized with that and uh, did that, successfully got him on the ballot, which was kind of interesting because a lot of people, because they decided to register independent or whatever it is, they lost out voting, you know, voting for Jesse Jackson. A lot of people were very upset about that. Anyway, let's skip forward uh, to uh, 1992, okay? Now, all this time that I was for, for the whole Jesse Jackson, what it did was it brought a lot of people into the uh, electoral process. You know, a lot of people could vote now. Okay, so it was, it was, it was um, um, historic, as a matter of fact. Uh, but also with this uh, bringing all these people in, um, it also made it so we could have the first uh, black mayor of New York, David Dinkins. That was in about uh, 87, 86, somewhere, somewhere around there. Uh, and, and because of all the amount of people that voted, so the minority, so-called minority people, you know, the people that weren't interested until Jesse Jackson ran, so it has an impact. Okay, so um, David Dinkins um, eventually becomes the first uh, black mayor of New York. But what does he do? First thing he does, he abandons his base. Get it? He just abandons his base. And uh, well, let me just leave that part out of it. Let's go to another part. Uh, in 1992, I voted the Democratic Party. Now, remember, I said to vote the Democratic Party, not for Clinton necessarily, but for the party, because part of the party platform was that we'd have D.C. statehood. If you had D.C. statehood, you would effectively have automatically have two black senators, because it was Chocolate City back then, and one black congressman, automatically. And, but what happened is when, uh, uh, that was a platform of the Democratic Party. When uh, Clinton got in, the first thing he did, he turned to, I think it was Jesse, he turned to Jesse and says, you know that thing about the, uh, the platform and, 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 and D.C. statehood? Well, we're not doing that. See, he abandoned it right away, just like, Jesse, just like uh, David Dickens abandoned the, prog the progressive platform right away. Just like, guess what, let's keep on going. Just like that's right. Um, the brother president, Barack Obama, Barack Obama abandoned, you know, his progressives and his, and his uh, um, uh, so, you know, black people, minorities, whatever you want to, whatever they call them these days. Uh, for what? Just to abandon them. Kind of interesting, don't you think? I bring all that up just to bring this. I don't have faith in the electoral process, okay? Don't get me wrong. I vote. I didn't say, but it's an exercise. It's, it's just an exercise. It's a second. It has nothing to do with um, with reality. It's just an exercise. It's easy to do an exercise. You can want to do your exercises, but what what, what, what concerns me is now they're floating this idea that um, the uh, election day should be a uh, a holiday. Great idea. I don't think it goes far enough. I think the holiday should be on a Monday, and then basically you have uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday to vote. You have these three these three days to vote. That's what I would call uh, voting democracy. I won't say participatory democracy because that means that we are not only do we have to vote, but we have to participate in the democracy. We have to make things, we have to make things, help things to change, you see? But see, with this process that we have just one time, whatever it is, what happens is you get all these people gaming the system. But it's going to be difficult to game the system if it's a three-day system. Very difficult, I think. Or maybe it's not so difficult. People game the system all the time. Anyway, I think that... Um, uh, having a, uh, a voting day for a holiday is great, but I would start with a three-day holiday or three days weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday is the holiday, and try it that way. That way when you have to compromise, you don't compromise backwards and lose all your rights. You have to have real leverage and they have to compromise with you. That's just an opinion from me, T. Philip Patterson's taking the trench to bed, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>